Hi everyone, today we're going to be going over the R hodl ratio and how you can use this tool to help improve your Bitcoin investing and analysis. This chart as well as many others are all freely available on lookintobitcoin.com, your number one source for Bitcoin information. If you haven't already, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications to ensure you're receiving all of our content as soon as it's released. So the R hodl ratio is looking at the amount of Bitcoin that hasn't been moved in a one week period and looking at the average price at which those BTC were accumulated at. So it's almost like the realized price. I don't know if you've seen that video yet, but I definitely recommend going to watch it. So the average price at which each one of these BTC that haven't moved in one week were accumulated at. It is then comparing this one week R hodl ratio to the one to two year R hodl ratio. So again, that is the average price at which each one of these BTC were accumulated at one to two years ago and have not moved since. It is then multiplying this value by the total market age. And this is just to account for the fact that when Bitcoin was only around for a couple of years, it was much harder to have been holding for two years as compared to today when the asset class has been around for over a decade. There are many more participants that have been holding for one to two year periods. But the main ratio actually is just displaying to us the relation between new market participants in the space and ones that have been holding Bitcoin for an extended period of time. And we can actually overlay this to price and see a very instant correlation between the R huddle ratio and the Bitcoin price, not only topping out, but bottoming too. So if we just look at the previous couple cycles, we can see as Bitcoin price topped out in late 2017 at just around $20,000. This R huddle ratio came into this red zone here. And this really shows us that the realized price of this BTC that haven't moved in a week far exceeded the realized price of these BTC that were accumulated or moved or transferred one to two years ago. Just as price increases substantially, the average price at which most BTC will be transferred at in the previous week or so is going to be significantly higher than that of one to two years ago. And this is really just displaying the relation between new market participants entering the space, but also market participants that potentially have been holding Bitcoin for a one to two year period, but have begun to potentially sell or take profit on their positions as they believe Bitcoin price to be topping out. So there's two ways to really look at this metric. We can look at it as new market participants getting involved, new people entering the Bitcoin space potentially for the first time, and also the fact that Bitcoin investors that have been in the space for a long time are now deciding to move their Bitcoin from their wallets potentially to exchanges or just to another wallet. Either way, this network activity relationship can often tell us when price is topping out, but also to the downside as well. As price dips very much into potentially oversold conditions, this gives us a good indication that price is potentially bottoming. As not only is there potentially far fewer market participants entering the space, but many investors are just holding for the long term. When we dipped from around $6,000 to around $3,000 here in late 2018, this would have involved a lot of market participants that potentially got involved a year earlier as price peaked here and had to hold through this drawdown and resulted in the R hodl ratio decreasing substantially. However, we can see here in the just latest cycle where Bitcoin topped at above $60,000, the R huddle ratio didn't actually peak into this red zone here as we have historically seen. So you have to take into account that this isn't an exact science and especially as the Bitcoin asset class grows not only in popularity and price but maturity too, we are going to see less extreme values on the R huddle ratio. Back here in the day when Bitcoin was new and lots of market participants were entering at the same time and exiting again at the same time due to the extreme speculation and volatility of the asset class, we had these huge swings in the R huddle ratio. And we can actually see this begin to contract over time, still in the cyclical nature, but potentially not quite as extreme. There's going to be more of a slow and constant influx of market participants as the asset class grows. We can see right now that the R huddle ratio as price is just hovering around $20,000.
is on its way down into this green zone here. So historically, this has provided investors with outsized returns for accumulating in these areas. We haven't actually reached it yet, so it'll be interesting to look back in a few weeks and months to see if we do dip into this zone or potentially drop in and consolidate for a little while. But either way, we can see that this is a contracting indicator. We can see that over time, this is going to evolve as Bitcoin matures as an asset class and as its adoption increases. So just to summarize, the R-HODL ratio displays the relationship of short-term investors who haven't moved their BTC in just a one-week period compared to the longer-term investors who haven't moved their BTC for a one to two-year period. This ratio also factors in the total age of the market. Just as Bitcoin simply exists for a longer period of time, there are bound to be more people huddling, holding for a longer period of time. So if we just multiply this ratio by the total age of the market, we get a more standardized and true value for the R hodl ratio. As significantly more market participants enter the space, and potentially as longer term investors also begin to take profits on their positions, the ratio increases and vice versa as fewer people begin to enter the space and as more people start to hold their bitcoin for longer periods of time we see the r hodl ratio drop although historically as this r hodl ratio drops we have seen strategic investors who accumulate especially in the green buy zone on the r hodl chart be provided outsized returns in the following months and years if you liked this video then please visit lookintobitcoin.com by sharing valuable Bitcoin data through visual storytelling charts and information, we want to be the best publicly available resource on the internet for Bitcoin data. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel to learn about all our other charts and gain even more market insights. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.